So I got the tap running at pretty good ways here. Uh, it's sticking out the bottom here. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out and I'm going to test fit uh, my little pipe plug. Alright, so that's where I'm hitting resistance. And I still got quite a ways to go. Uh, basically, the pipe plug is nearly the same depth uh, as it is from here to the ceiling of the intake runner. So I got a little bit more tapping to do, and uh, then we'll try this again. All right, we're pretty darn good. We're getting close. We're about an eighth of an inch uh, up from the ceiling there. So I gotta do a few more turns on the uh, pipe tap and uh, test it again. And uh, we're pretty close to being finished with this hole. All right, I've got this pipe tap run in nearly all the way, nearly to the top of the cutting thread. So let's go ahead and uh, pull this out and then we'll uh, test fit our pipe plug. All right, there you can see the bottom of the pipe plug. Uh, it is sticking down into the runner just a little bit. I don't think I'll be able to get that shot, uh, but it's the bottom of the plug, at least on this side of the runner, on uh, this side out here is pretty much level with the ceiling. Now the ceiling slopes upward so the far end of that pipe plug uh, drops down just a little bit uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that. If I was really wanted to be anal about it I could uh, take the die grinder and shave that off smooth but I'm not gonna worry about that. There's no Teflon tape, there's no sealant on this pipe plug so when I put some uh, I'm probably just going to use Teflon tape. When I put some of that on there, uh, this pipe plug won't drop down uh, as far as it is now. Uh, it, it, it may be a sixteenth of an inch less, maybe even only a thirty-second. But nonetheless, it won't drop down as far as it is. So, uh, this little portion of the project, we got that finished up. So, I just need to finish cleaning up the head, get all the little bit of surface rust off of there and uh, reassemble it and uh, we'll bolt it back into the truck.